we're going to talk about dashboarding techniques, which is kind of the garnish on our little salad that bring about these meaningful financial, financial stories about our past, about our present, and about our future. So why data visualization? We want to draw attention to what's important. I, I'm a busy person. You're busy people. The folks you're presenting to are busy people. They need to know what to pay attention to immediately. They don't have time to sit there and read a column of numbers and figure out what's off, right? So that's where data visualization can be really important. It's also easy to understand. You don't need an accounting degree to look at it. And you know, it's a quick glance information. Do I need to do anything more right now? So here's an example of a financial statement where we've leveraged some visual indicators. This is a report that I ran out of intact. If you notice any of the info looks a little funky, it's because I changed some information around to, to protect the innocent. So please, please don't audit my financial statements that are up here. I recognize that they are not valid. <laughs> but you can see here that I have over here, I have some really nice spark lines that give me a feel of trends, right? So I can quickly look and see if there's any trends. This might be a report I might give to a, de a department manager. A little more detailed than I want to give a board member, but a department manager probably wants to see this. So this is a neat one. I actually made this one in Adaptive Insights. And what this one does is it's combining uh, financial and non-financial information, which I love to do. And one of my clients was kind of making fun of me. He was like, Lisa, you do non-financial information because you know I, it's, it's dollars with you, right? Dollars only. And I was like, yes, I can do any numbers. I love all numbers equally. Um, so th but this is really helpful because in this case, what we did was we plotted different types of revenue uh, in the bar chart. And then we compared it to the number of members. And we saw something really interesting here. OK, our members are going up. That's fantastic. Everyone wants their members to go up. And as a result, our dues revenue is going up. Also fantastic. Overall revenue is going up. But what we also saw was um, all of our other revenues were remaining stagnant. So maybe we aren't doing such a good job of engaging those members and showing them all of our other services that we provide and making sure they're getting the most out of their membership through their affiliation with us. The other thing I love is scorecards. Um, scorecards are a great way to show your KPI. Um, you can see the top row here I made an intact. Those are certain items that are really key. And you can see I use those visual indicators that we talked about, up arrows and down arrows. And they're green, right? So it's good. I have a down arrow on expense. Wait, is down bad? No, don't worry about it. It's green. We've got that covered. So uh, that was really helpful there, and that their cash balance is up. Um, and then the other example that I have for some scorecards is the bottom row. Those ones I made in adaptive. Um, and I added just that trend line so that you could see how things were progressing. And one of the things that, that really is important, why we want to have dashboards, is to make decisions. We don't just want data for the sake of data. How is the data helping you make better decisions?